Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part two of the second lesson on non-constant acceleration. Uh, in part one, we covered parts A, B and C. I'm going to pick up with part D. Now, part D is asking us for an expression for the displacement of the particle at time t seconds. Now, we have an expression for velocity. Uh, if we know velocity to get displacement, we need to integrate that expression. Uh, so I'm going to integrate it. Displacement, I'm going to call x. Integrate 6t, you get 3t squared. And integrate negative t squared, you're going to get negative one third t cubed. And you mustn't forget the plus c. So an expression for the position of this, the displacement uh, of the particle from the origin O, we need to find out what this value of c is. And what we do to do that is we read the question that tells us that at time zero it's five metres from a fixed origin O. So when t is zero, x is five. I wrote that down at the very start of the question, and now I'm going to use that information. So I'm going to make x equal five, and sub in zero for t. And you can see that's quite nice. That's just going to come out that c equals five. Now that's not my answer. My answer is my expression for displacement. Uh, therefore, I need to write that x is 3t squared minus 1 third t cubed plus 5. And what that tells me is if I know a value for t and I substitute it into this expression, it's going to tell me the distance from O at that point in time. So part E then is asking me when t equals 6, what is the position from the fixed origin O? Uh, if I substitute t equals 6 into here, uh, so 3 lots of 6 squared, so that's uh, 108, uh, 1 third of 6 cubed, 72, uh, plus 5, which is 41 metres. Now, 41 metres is its distance from the fixed origin O. So, not from where it started, it's from a fixed origin O. Uh, so, that is very important. That's from O. From its starting position, well, it started 5 metres from O. And therefore, when t equals 6... It's travelled 36 metres from its starting position. So 36 metres from its starting position. And it's very important that you understand the difference there. This equation x here is telling you its position relative to O, which is 41 metres away from O. That isn't necessarily how far it's travelled, um, because actually, or how far away it is from its starting point, because it started 5 metres from O, so it's now 36 metres from O, even though it's 40, uh, 36 metres from its starting point, I should say, which is 41 metres from, um, from O. OK, uh, join me in part three of this video where we will finish off doing part 